In this module, we'll talk about lipid molecules, the role of lipid molecules in biology, and also we look at their structure. Lipid molecules are not polymers in the strictest sense. For example, they don't have a covalent bond like we have seen, which exists in two amino acids, between two amino acids or two carbohydrate molecules. Lipid molecules are held together by weak interactions, the hydrophobic bond and van der Waal forces. I'll discuss hydrophobic bond when we talk about free energy. It will, it will be more helpful that we first understand free energy and then we talk about hydrophobic bond. Van der Waal forces, I would like to briefly explain what these forces are. Imagine we have a balloon and in balloon, in that balloon, there is a small ball. The ball is generally in the center, but due to motion or movement of the, the, the balloon, the ball temporarily goes to one side as it is depicted on the screen for you. When that happens, now imagine that little ball inside the balloon is the nucleus, which is positively charged. When it moves to one side, it partially, temporarily creates polarity and otherwise a non-polar structure, meaning that the nucleus containing the positive charge, when it moves to one side, thus there will be a charge distribution on that molecule that one side of that molecule will have negatively, predominantly negative charge and other side of that molecule will have predominantly positive charge. When that happens, this structure can form weak interaction with another molecule which is going through a similar process, meaning the two positive sides, here I will highlight this, meaning that when this happens, the, 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 when the positively charged nucleus moves to one side, the negatively charged electrons, they, come, they are on the other side, and this, there is a weak interaction with, between two adjacent molecules in which this charge distribution or redistribution has occurred. This is basically a van der Waal force. It is very weak. However, it is significant enough to hold these molecules together. Now, let's look at the role of lipid molecules. Lipid molecules can also store energy. They, can, they also play a very important role in formation of cellular membranes. We will talk about those in one of the subsequent modules. The, our ability to see is basically due to a lipid molecule. Vitamin A, for example, is modified and it acts as a receptor for light in our eye. The, you, we, have all, uh, uh, we, have, we all know about photosynthesis. The photosynthesis, basically the molecule that captures light in the plant molecules and in the plant, uh, in the plant tissue is also type of lipid. Hormones and vitamins, many lipids play an important role in signaling and giving cells information from outside, outside environment. Animal fat is also an insulator. Animals that live in cold environments, they accumulate a lot of fat under their skin and that insulates them from the cold environment. Nerve cells also need insulation, just like our electric cables. They are insulated by, electric cables are insulated by rubber. However, our nerves are insulated by a type of lipid molecule, so they are electrically isolated. Also, many animals that live in, in, um, in aquatic environment, they can coat their external surface, their feathers, for example, with these lipid molecules. So, the lipid molecules serve as a water repellent in such cases. Lipid molecules have one of the types of lipid molecules are triglycerides. Let's talk about triglycerides. Triglycerides are formed when three fatty acid molecules, highlight these uh, molecules, here are the fatty acid molecules. These fatty acid molecules have an acidic group. This is the acidic group. It forms a bond with a hydroxyl group of an alcohol. In this case, this alcohol has three hydroxyl groups. This alcohol is called glycerol. So it is a bond which is formed between fatty acid molecules and alcohol. Again, it's a condensation reaction and three water molecules are removed. 
and a bond is formed, this type of bond which is formed between an alcohol and an acidic group is called the ester linkage. Next we will look at other lipid molecules. I would like to point out that this ester linkage is inside, it is a bond which is present in the lipid molecule. It is not type of bond which is going to hold the monomers together like we have previously seen. So this molecule which you are seeing on your screen is an independent lipid monomer that is going to exist on its own without forming an actual covalent or traditional type of bond with another monomer. This is going to have an interaction with other lipid molecules on those based on two types of bonds that we talked about the van der Waal forces and the hydrophobic bonds.